We all know the classic character of Scooby-Doo, right? A goofball, cowardly, a hippie's best friend? Well, piss off with that! I'm Y-Boy of Toon Grin and Cartoon Corner, and today on Channel Frederator, I'm enlightening you on seven moments where this crime-solving pooch just did not care about how he acted in certain scenarios. He gave zero f- <laughs> Number 1. Now one of Scooby's definable character traits is his love for food, and if we made a list of the sheer gluttonous and disgusting amounts of food this dog has eaten, we'd be here all day. He is never self-conscious about what he eats or how much he eats. Scooby just enjoys the million calorie diet, spitting in the face of death with his inexplicable non-fat clogged artery health, and all we can do is stand and applaud him. Number 2. If you are in the midst of a climatic showdown of friendly manhood and expelling noxious gas from one's mouths and rears, of course you wouldn't give a crap! Neither Shaggy or Scooby back down from giving the most gaseous fight for manhood that anyone has seen, not caring how ridiculous or out of place this Battle of Bowels is. Until Shaggy farts in Daphne's direction. Then that's just weird, dude. Number 3. Scooby has shown that he is in fact a man's dog. So what happens when on a plane ride to a new mystery, Fred flicks his nose in a sad attempt to rein in his wild doggy spirit? He gets exactly what he deserves. A Scooby Knuckle Duster punch to the face! <laughs> <laughs> a funny bit of karma was an iteration of Fred that's infuriatingly punchable. <laughs> Number 4. Going to the prequel past, we catch up with Scooby witnessing a school bully trip a young Shaggy Rogers on a bus ride to school. Scooby, being a pillar of anti-bullying, decides to get some revenge as he sneaks under the seats and bites the bully's ankles. They may use a cartoon chomp sound effect, but it's undeniable Scooby-Doo bit someone, intentionally meaning to cause harm. Do not mess with this Great Dane's hippie. He will find you, and he will bite you. Number 5. Now we've seen Scooby defend his friends, but what happens if he betrayed this pooch's trust? Well, like with Shaggy and Be Cool Scooby-Doo, when he lets the phrase he owns Scooby slip from his lips, Scooby drops Shaggy's butt like a rock as his best friend and goes from gang member to gang member to find his new BF. Though Scooby is a fickle mud, dropping each member of the gang from BF status and turning his nose to Shaggy. But even when Shaggy learns his lesson and apologizes, it turns out calling Scooby his dog wasn't the reason Scooby was upset. Obviously, it was because Shaggy is his human and should never say otherwise. Number 6. Although it's from an otherwise bland movie, Big Top Scooby-Doo gives us a good handful of awesome moments that would have filled up half of this list. Like Scooby eating fire, him riding on a jet, him having this creepy face, uh, and most confusingly, him defending Shaggy from a Fabio hair werewolf, where he first issues a bite to the arm like a minor inconvenience. Like a dog! And then in an animatedly graphic transformation, his bones and facial structure change and morph until he becomes human. And the first thing Human Scooby does is nonchalantly ask Shaggy for some shades that Shaggy does not have. Because you need a good pair of shades to show you don't give a f <laughs> Number 7. But you know what's truly badass? Not caring for society's conventions of normalcy and proper etiquette. And in that spirit, you're Scooby-Doo peeing on a tree in a kid's movie. Look at how satisfied Scooby looks as he walks off screen to remove himself from the scene. He doesn't care that added nothing to anything, and it was just an excuse so the CG animators didn't have to animate his model anymore. Not only does this scene add absolutely nothing, but it's proof that not only did Scooby not give up, but neither did the frickin' filmmakers. Thanks for watching, folks, and I hope you enjoyed this little look at Scooby-Doo's seven otter moments. There definitely wasn't enough room to place all the weird Scooby-Doo moments on this list, so if you got some more, then put them in the comments below. I've been your host, Y-Boy, and you can find me over at my channel, Toon Grin, by clicking the annotation here. The channel is run by me and the artist behind those adorable chibi me's Nero Angelus. And my show, Cartoon Corner, specializes in covering all sorts of animation topics, especially the bad ones. And if you couldn't tell, I've reviewed a lot of the Scooby-Doo movies. So check that out if me losing my mind piques your interest. And if you want to see more tuned up, click the other annotation to see more episodes. And hit subscribe to see all our future episodes when they come out. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget, Frederator loves you.